I decided to come here to the Barcelona supercomputer, which is the third fastest supercomputer in Europe. It costs 34 million euros to build. Let's go check it out. So joining me here is Guillaume Russo, physics, computer science extraordinaire. Guillaume, what's your role here? I'm team leader in mechanical engineering. Oh, wow. And I lead a team of, let, let's say, 30 people. Uh huh. And just how fast is this computer? It's 11 petaflops, so it corresponds to uh, 10 to the 16th more or less operations per second. Per second, which, 10 to the 16th? Yeah, which wow. is equivalent to, let's say, 80,000 computers normal computers. So 80,000 powerful computers running in conjunction yeah. is what's behind us. Yeah. Okay, in, insane. So what kind of projects are you guys working on? Like who, who uses this computer? Well, we simulate very tiny things like atoms, molecules, through medium things like let's say cardiovascular system, respiratory system, airplanes, and huge scale systems like astrophysics, cosmology. Wow, so you, you're yeah, dealing with all realms of science. You've yeah. got biology, chemistry, yeah. physics. Yeah. And now the challenge is to couple all these scales and to make to simulate the whole world. So you because I guess, I mean, I guess you could argue that the universe in some ways is It's coupled. It's a coupled system, yeah. Right. So ideally you're just trying to you're taking these sort of obviously much smaller scales and trying to simulate them uh, and calculate what is going on through this yeah. machine. So I heard that apparently you guys were very instrumental in the discovery of gravitational waves. Now, that's really exciting for me because that's what I wrote my dissertation on back in 2003, before we had discovered these things, these ripples in space-time. And how was, how was Mary Nostrum involved in that? Well, it was a project called LIGO and was awarded a 16 million hour simulation, which means that, well, to simulate what you've just said, and it would correspond to it's a 1,000 years of simulation on one CPU. Wait, so this, if they had run the simulations to try and discover these gravitational waves, it would have taken 1,000 years if they'd done it on a normal laptop? Yeah. Wow, so this is, this is a very, very and efficient you do it in machine. Few, in, few year, in few days, you have, you have your simulation done. So this can't be cheap to hire out for these teams of researchers. Where does the funding come from? It's public funding, exclusively, yeah. So yeah, that's, you're relying on the governments to, to help with this fundamental science research. Yeah, you're right. Actually, we are at a stage where we have to promote supercomputing to industry so that they can see they can solve their problems. Mm -hmm.